I get to work on social innovation and entrepreneurship all the time, um, which is super fun. And this is sort of an interesting project that I've had a chance to get into that plays off of um, being a woman and, and talking about social change in a way um, that's really sexy. Um, but first, starting with a problem. We'll get to the sex later. Um, in Africa, there are more deaths caused by AIDS than all of the wars, famines, floods, and deadly diseases on the continent combined. Um, that's a massive problem, and one that the founder of this company actually went to address, and in doing so, and document actually, this is a pho photo journalist, um, and in doing so, realized that one of the major preventative uh, measures is condoms, obviously, right? This massive dilemma um, is actually preventable, but lots of times condoms aren't accessible. There's just no access, they're not available. So she looked at how we could create and offer a systemic, sustainable solution. Not just a project on the ground, not just a nonprofit effort. Um, and so in looking at condoms, started looking at the condom market here. Starts to get a little sexy if you're into numbers and actually making money, because it turns out that the condom industry is actually a really robust industry. Sales actually went up during the recession, which tells you something about when we like to have sex. <laughs> Um, the thing is, is that the condom market is not actually that sexy. You look at like Trojan, Durex is not like a really sexy brand, and it's all like geared towards men, right? So enter this solution, L Condoms, which is a condom company with a cause to empower women globally by supporting the human right to save sex. For every condom you purchase, one is distributed in the developing country. Awesome, one for one model is super simple. We've seen it before with the Tom shoes, except that when you buy one condom, you buy a lot of condoms, so a lot of condoms go to Africa. They're actually partnered with a really amazing nonprofit group on the ground that does this distribution work. But more than one for one, again, going back to the focus on women, there's a more and higher, higher percentage of Africans aged between 15 and 24 are actually girls, 75%, sorry, of Africans aged 15 to 24 are girls, increasingly girls. Girls and women are um, disproportionately affected, obviously, by HIV AIDS and the epidemic, um, more often just infected in general. And um, per Emily's presentation, focus on women has been growing internationally as they are generally um, people who invest in their own communities and their families and can um, generate economic development exponentially. So what happens here impacts what happens there. They're doing um, on-the-ground programs, peer-to-peer -peer education with gender-sensitive approaches to um, AIDS prevention and condom use. So awesome. If we're going to do this, though, or if they're going to do this, they're going to focus on product, which is they focus on product first. They need to sell condoms, right, to people like you. Um, so they actually make their products um, more effective durable, um, actually don't use glycerins and other chemicals that are traditionally in condoms. But the interesting part about this project is that actually when talking to consumers here, it's brought up the question of like what's actually sexy. Um, talking to women to buy condoms, three-fourths of condoms that are purchased, if not more, are purchased by women. But there's still like this weird um, dialogue around what's sexy, about when you have sex, about talking about sex, about being open about buying condoms even. I know people, I mean, I'm, I'm not even that familiar with talking about buying condoms, so this is a little awkward. But, um, <laughs> but it's also been interesting to also talk about sexy as being something that's really about intellect, about being clever, about being aware, about being socially driven. And like, that's hot. Um, so I'm going a little, slides are going a little faster than, than me, but um, this is just generally where we're at now. I wish I had condoms to just like throw at the crowd, because that would be awesome, or to like blow up and like try to break and not be able to, but they're actually um, just on pre-sale now, so if you want to order some, um, I have a subscription which is awesome, and you just get them delivered to your door every month instead of having to worry about going to the 7-Eleven. Um, but really, <laughs> the interesting thing about it is that um, it's addressing a problem um, that seems unaddressable. I mean, AIDS in Africa is huge, but um, if just one out of 20 people who purchase condoms purchase L, we could serve the areas with the highest need in Africa, three, three countries with the highest need um, in all of Africa affected with HIV AIDS. Um, now that's sexy. Thank you.